a recording. And have you let any folks in, Jennifer? If there's anyone, there's no one in the attendees. I don't, I don't see anyone. No, you guys okay. should be all set now. All right. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you guys. Have a good meeting. Okay. Thanks. Bye bye. Thank oh, do you have any questions about Juneteenth before I get off? Questions about what? Juneteenth before I get off. Um, yes. Should I call the meeting to order real quick and then ask you? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Okay, so calling the June 15th meeting of the African Heritage Reparation Assembly to order at 2.33 p.m. Pursuant to chapter 20 of the acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. Okay, and one of the items on our agenda today is to uh, just finalize any questions about Juneteenth. And since Jennifer's here with us just for a few more minutes, um, does anyone have any questions about the upcoming Juneteenth events that Jennifer can answer? And Jennifer, do you wanna just say, cause I saw that Sunday's flyer came out. Is there anything that you wanna share? No, I just, I hope that you guys come out and mingle in the crowd and start talking to folks about, you know, AHRA in a nicely community way, right? So, um, yeah. And Michelle, did you still want to have a table or are you guys just going to mingle or what? Um, maybe we'll talk about that for a few minutes today and make a decision on that. And I, I really don't have a sense of who is coming um on sunday yet and so uh who would be able to be at the table and so i'll get back to you on that one i guess yeah my only request like having the table means you have to have something on it too so right <laughs> right might just be easier if people are mingling in the crowd if they attend yeah no i i agree without having like a banner or something that we can clearly identify the table you know with i'm not sure but it really is a great opportunity on the other hand. So maybe we'll discuss something and then let you know right away. Sounds good. Have a good meeting, everyone. Thank you. All right. Um, I was curious if anything, anybody knows if anything is organized for Monday, the actual federal holiday. That's a really great question. Other than everything being closed, I didn't see anything, Dr. Shabazz. Um, I know there's a film uh, screening, Miss Juneteenth, I think, at Amherst Cinema, but I, did you see that? I don't know if that's, uh, let me just quickly look. Is that Saturday or, um, here it is. Okay, I might be able to share screen here. Um, that is Sunday at 4.30. There's a community screening. It's free admission. Um, it's called Miss Juneteenth. And um, Jennifer sent something around about that. So I'll send, if you all haven't received that, I'll send that. But I don't see anything on, on the schedule for Monday. Okay, thank you. Sure. I'm just going to fill up my water. I was running in from another meeting. So just excuse me, please, for one second. Hello. <clears throat> one thing we, if we do opt for a table, we could run off some of the uh, basic I can make some copies of some of the basic information about the Black Assembly of Amherst, Massachusetts, kind of, um, you know, how it's dedicated to raising the conversation within the African heritage community. And we can have, you know, and, and asking people to sign up for, for additional information to be part of the uh, <clears throat> notifications of, uh, of the monthly meetings or other meetings, uh, relevant meetings. So that is one thing that comes to mind, if you if you think that's that's appropriate, or you and Irv think that's appropriate, I love that idea. Sounds good to me. 
Okay. Uh, the only question is who's going to put the bell on this cat? <laughs> well, yeah, the, I, I've had one rule toward Juneteenth throughout my life. And that is, it is a day. It is a day of fun, not a day of work. So I'll have to. So well, the only thing I could say about sitting at a table is it. It's got to be fun. So it can't be. It can't be work for me. I don't mind sitting at a table. I don't mind talking about things. Uh, but uh, I, I definitely don't want to feel like it's work. <laughs> yeah, and that really is a great idea. I think that's awesome, and I love the fun aspect <laughs> is it um who is everyone going saturday who's going on saturday for some or all of the event okay great and then what about on sunday okay cool so we'll be there throughout um in terms of saturday just an update um so we um well actually an update and to say that we never finalized an amount that we wanted to give as an unrestricted donation um, for our sponsorship. And we don't have to do that today. I've given Paul the heads up that we are going to be doing that, you know, either today or Friday if we want to wait until we have more members. Um, but either way, we're moving forward with some great food with Junior. I heard back Dr. Shabazz from Junior today. Um, and also, um, I'm really excited about there is a business um, opening, hopefully opening up in the Mill District um, that is, I, you may have heard, it's a bakery. Um, and I believe that it's a Black-owned business. Um, she specializes in cakes and cupcakes and I, Anika had sent me a picture of a cake she made for a different event. And I was like, oh my goodness, it would be so wonderful to have a cake, beautiful cake at the heritage walk when we're at the history museum. And so she's designing, um, something for that as well. So, um, but that's more just, I don't think that's, not, that's kind of just coming from me personally. It's not like part of the, you know, but I just wanted to share because I'm excited about it. Um, and other than that, I think Anika has said that AHRA will be added on all of the promotional materials that they're going to be putting out in the couple days ahead. Um, so we'll also be acknowledged at one or more points during the day. So um, it will be good for some of us to be there, definitely. So do we have any other comments or questions about Juneteenth before we get into the earmarking conversation? Nothing, okay. So I thought about maybe postponing this meeting today because the finance committee couldn't get a meeting together for this week as they had hoped to. Um, so the meeting has been now set for Tuesday of next week at three o'clock. Um, and so the plan is, um, and Dr. Shabazz, you weren't here at the end of the last meeting. The assembly um, voted to direct me to begin working on a draft policy in collaboration with the town council president as needed. Um, to bring to you all for approval, for review and approval. So yeah. my hope is if we can decide on a time to meet on Friday, and I got your message that you're good, Dr. Shabazz, at two o'clock so that to accommodate Irv and Hala, are you, does two o'clock work for you on Friday? Yes, and um, I have to double check because I'm pretty sure I texted you and if I didn't something's wrong with my phone because you may have <laughs> you okay I was like wait did. I know I <laughs> it was the individual one I texted you back perfect to okay. okay yeah that was you and also Alexis did individually I think so so two o'clock it is then we'll we'll go with two o'clock Yvonne unfortunately couldn't do noon or two o'clock um, so I told her that I can, I believe without violating open meeting law, send her something directly that's going to be in the packet that she can respond directly to me with feedback about, um, without violating anything. So 
hopefully we'll get some feedback from her as well. And then my recommendation is that we meet one more time an hour before the finance committee at two o'clock in case we have some. So I'm going to have something for you Friday to look at. You're going to give me feedback. Hopefully I'll work on it with Lynn over the weekend. Then we can meet again. We're not going to meet on Monday because it's the holiday and we can't. So then we'll meet on Tuesday at two o'clock to make sure that we're all we're on the same page before we bring it to the finance committee at three o'clock. And we are posting for that meeting too. Um, so for whoever can be there, fantastic. Um, and we'll be able to call a meeting to order if we reach a quorum. So that uh, Jennifer's taking care of all of that already. Um, so there's really not, you know, unless there were particular, um, outside of what I just said, if there were particular thoughts that came up since the last meeting that we want to address now, um, I'd be happy to use the time to go ahead and get back to work on it. Um, I did also want to just keep our eye on the fact that the mass humanities application is going to be right around the corner. And I'm wondering, Hala, if you wanted to continue maybe in collaboration with one or more community members who have shown interest in that application, if you would be willing to continue to take the lead on that, if I, okay, awesome. Um, so yeah, any other comments or questions, um, anything that has come up from the last time we met, I know we touched on um, kind of some circumstances in the last finance com committee meeting that we may or may not want to discuss, um, or if there's just anything else um, that anybody would like to touch on in relationship to this request. Um, oh, and by the way, Boston City Council tonight, they're going for it. They're asking for the committee. And so I just want to send them really strong thoughts and prayers that they get that passed tonight. Yes, indeed. And I would also note um, Kansas. Um, in uh, Kansas City, I recently received a call. They're pushing for the town, the city to create a municipal body similar to ours. They called to ask thoughts, particularly one thought they wanted to know if we were a uh, members of the committee had uh, received a stipend of any form to help cover, uh, you know, our work or in respect of, you know, um, uh, um, the time and, and things we may need to do in order to make meetings like this. And, uh, and it did bring that, that question to bear in terms of just checking in is, um, you know, community safety working group was one such group, uh, town body that uh, did provide a stipend to members. Members could, of course, donate it back to the, to the town or, or, or what have you, but uh, it was a policy across the board. Um, was, uh, did any of you, uh, I'm just wondering if people would have uh, had any thoughts in, re in relation to that type of um, uh, thing for this, for this group? Um, as to uh, to whether it, it might uh, seem seem uh, worthwhile, I, I know we uh, never moved to you know uh, recruit a seventh member, but um, but did uh, was there any feelings in respect to the kinds of costs for to us individually to make a meeting like this uh, sometimes weekly basis or or more in relation to uh, a stipend the way community safety working group received. Thank you for asking that question, Dr. Shabazz. And um, it's not on our agenda to speak about this. So I'm going to be really careful, but to say that I will add it to a, a, an agenda in the very near future, um, because I think it's actually perfect timing as we're looking at um, our funding stream and talking about these components that we would talk about this and raise this up again um, and see where we're at with it. And I'm curious what other people think, but I will just note that I'll add it to a future agenda so that we can have a full discussion about it. Um, I'll also note that 
we have an application in to fill the vacancy. Um, and that town manager Bockelman is in the process of reviewing that application. So um, that is going through the process that I guess you all went through. I went through, um, I think I didn't actually, I'm not sure exactly how it works for. Well, there was a screening committee, wasn't there? Yes, there was a screening committee, um, but I'm not sure in terms of the, like when there's one vacancy, but town manager Bockelman is taking care of that. Um, and so we'll have more information about that coming soon. Um, and so let me add that to the agenda and make sure that we sure. get that discussion. But I think if anybody has any immediate remarks um, in, re in response to Dr. Shabon. Well, no, that's, that, that's fine. I know it that's wasn't okay. an ag agenda item. I uh, sure. can, can, it, it rippled off my mind just in thinking about other municipalities that are trying to move in the direction we're moving and a question that they raised about, about uh, our, our committee. Um, but the other thing being um, in relation to um, the, 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 the questions that have come up on finance committee about budget and about plan and about this type of thing, I think important uh, beyond this work of um, the, uh, the financial streams and identifying the financial streams is, of course, uh, this is summer. This is a good time to kind of get back into uh, the mode of getting getting at the black community. Um, the uh, uh, the materials we received from the Donahue Institute, trying to look at how to put uh, get use out of that in terms of uh, an outreach plan to the uh, uh, African heritage residents of of Amherst. Um, Again, if that's something that we might want to also have as a as an item on our next meetings, it, it seems as though uh, it's something that might go uh, be important beyond this question of parameters and setting limits and whatnot might be also important to um, to kind of get back get back into our mode on so that um, yeah that that our, our liaisons to to the town to the council and community in general can know that you know there is there is a consultative process there is a plan to uh to to begin to reach out across the town and especially across the town's african heritage res residents to to really get uh get ideas on what what uh, uh kind of reparative justice plan we we want to see Yes, I'm so glad you brought that up because this is what I was going to propose with respect to that. I think you are absolutely 100% right, Dr. Shabazz. Um, and what I was going to propose is it, when we once we get through this finance committee meeting, then it goes to the fate of the council on June 27th. We should, by the end of the night on June 27th, know what our funding stream is. And that sort of checks off number one in our charge. That was that was a that was a big piece of our charge, and so we'll be able to check that one off. And then I absolutely agree that moving toward engaging members of the Black community is what should be the real push and real focus going forward. And so I wanted to ask you all: How often do you want to have a little break? for a couple weeks after we get through the financing piece, um, just to sort of take a breath, because that was a big push, and then come back and start really working on the, the Black census and engagement with the Black community? Or do you wanna just keep, like, how do you guys wanna schedule the rest of the summer was my question. Like, do we want to take a few weeks off perhaps um, in like the first couple of weeks of July, for example, and then come back at it? Or do we want to just keep going at this pace that we're going at um, meeting, I hope only once a week after the financial decision is made? 
Well, I'll speak for myself and Ahala, by the way, yeah, folks should know is our um, convener on the uh, uh, Black um, uh, Assembly of Amherst, Massachusetts uh, for the next six months. And uh, yay, Hala for uh, stepping up to that role, um, giving uh, Dr. Barbara Love uh, a, a bit of a respite. Um, but I think what is, uh, I, I would have no problems with um, looking at uh, slowing down the number of meetings of, of this body, uh, particularly if we can accelerate some of the work of um, the Black Assembly uh, of Amherst, uh, Massachusetts, in terms of its getting out there and um, beginning to reach out by uh, in person, reach out by um, Zoom as it has done in the past, reach out by email, reach out by snail mail. Um, if if some of that work can begin to uh, to proceed, then yes, that will that will be fine to kind of uh, uh, create look at, at something of a break on the AHRA, but um, you know there there would be a couple of questions if uh, in a future meeting if we could have time just so that as that work kind of proceeds we we uh, you know we've we've cleared the way for some things from uh, AHRA. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Um, I'm looking at the calendar now, and so June, so we'll have a meeting Tuesday the 21st. The town council will be the 27th. As I said, we should know the fate of our funding stream at that point. Um, and then we could maybe have, enough, maybe we could have a meeting that week to, unpack what occurred um, and set a foundational plan to support the Black Assembly of Amherst, Massachusetts for the next few you know, weeks until we then meet again. Or if any member of the assembly says we need a meeting because something has arisen that we need to act on, we need money, we need whatever, then we'll just set up a meeting if we need to do that. Um, and that gives us some flexibility. I mean, this group, honestly, is <laughs> there are a lot of committees out there. And I will say I am very amazed at how wonderfully this committee works together and really blessed and grateful for that. Question, um, is, it, yeah. question is this meeting on the 21st? What time does it start? OK, great question. So the 21st, there is a 2 p.m. meeting of the AHRA. Um, and then the finance committee meeting begins at three. Are you available on the, and that was out of my control really, or if it was, um, pulled, you know, by the chair of the finance committee. And that was the one that most people could attend. So this is on so Tuesday, June 21st at two o'clock. Two o'clock with just us three o'clock, a joint meeting with the finance committee where the policy will be proposed and discussed and a recommendation will be made. And, uh, and that, um, that three o'clock, is it going to be a separate uh, link sent for that? Yes. It, and it may already be in your email box. All right. And then the 27th is a regular meeting of the town council and I, I don't know what the timing of our spot will be or when the vote will happen. But once I do know that, I'll send it out to the group. And I also see um, Hala, your hand is raised. Yes, um, I'm having connectivity issues, which is why I muted my camera to hope to hear you all better. But my question is regarding the Mass Humanities Grant and if this body would like to review that before, we might want to make sure we have a meeting um, scheduled with that deadline in alignment. Yes, and I was just looking up. You don't happen to have a deadline off the top of your head, do you? Um, do you, Hala? I do not. Okay. I apologize. No, no, I wouldn't expect you to. I, I'm just going to pull it up real quick for us. Applications are due by July 11th at 11.59 p.m. So 
my thinking on that is there are at least two people that I know from the community that have offered to work on this in collaboration with you, Hala. Um, one of them being Cindy Harbors Harberston, I think is is her name. Um, for, or her last name, I'm not pronouncing it right. Um, she's a, a li former librarian. Do you, do you know her, Hala? Okay, maybe the connectivity issue is, is causing a problem. But I think Dr. Shabazz, you know Cindy, um, she worked in the special collections and she is also um, on the Amherst, cultural council and has written a ton of grants and has offered to help with this. And then there's another community member who also has a lot of experience in grant writing that I was going to reach out to. And so that you and those two Hala would be able to work together. Um, July 11th is coming up really fast. And so I think that if we're going to, oh, all right. Now we don't have a quorum, <laughs> so hopefully Hala will. I, I think the spirit of her thing was um, having the opportunity to just check in before that July 1 application is due. I if think you're absolutely right. To incorporate it in a, either in the meeting on the 21st, well, maybe not that meeting because that's kind of constrained, but if we would have something around the 27th or after the 27th, um, right after the 27th, that, that might accomplish that opportunity. If there were any questions, she would, they would have their draft out there. People could get it in the packet and be able to say, yay, nay, whatever, address any questions. I think you're right. I think that's exactly what she was getting at. And it's July 11th. So if we meet the deadlines, the 11th or the, the 11th. Yeah. Oh. The 11th. Yeah. A little more time. <laughs> Okay. Um, so I think that we should plan to meet. What do people's schedules look like Tuesday, the 28th? Uh, before you go there. Yeah. My calendar on Tuesday, 21st looks like spaghetti. So okay. I need some clarity. So sure. uh, the first meeting for HRA is at two o'clock on the 21st. Is that correct? That's correct. And then there's an HRA joint meeting with the finance committee at three o'clock, is that correct? That's correct. All right, so I'm, I'm all right on there then. Okay, yeah. wonderful, that's awesome. I really was hoping that you'd be able to make it to finance. Um, so I'm so glad you can. Um, and <laughs> what was that? The proposal then was the 28th, Tuesday the 28th? Yes, Tuesday the 28th, um, and we could include, um, and I see Hal is back, we could include the Mass Humanities, an unpacking of what happened at the vote on the 27th and laying a foundation for BAM's work um, for the Black Census and our community engagement work that we're going to begin to focus on. So what timing on that day is looking good for people? Um, that day is out for me because of uh, back to back meetings. Um, there's a uh, regional school committee meeting, and then there's a Amherst school committee meeting. Oh, wow. And if I did, if I did another one before that, that would just be, and I have some preparation. That day is, is no, I, I can't do that. That's too much. I agree with you. Yeah. Um, how about is Thursday the 30th an option? Uh, what time? Or even Friday. I could send a poll out, but um, I do. Thursday, I mean, Thursday or Friday, let me see. I think Thursday or Thursday or Friday. Friday is the first. Yeah. How, how about you, Dr. Shabazz? How's Thursday? What did you say? I can try, make, I can try to make the 30th or, or the first work. Yeah. Okay. And is that same for you, Dr. Shabazz or Dr. Hurds? Yeah. Yeah it, it, yeah, it works for me. Okay. As long as I, I can get it on the calendar. Um, <clears throat> okay. How about for you, Hala? Do you have a better day between the 30th and the 1st? 
And Hala, the idea we talked about, if you can hear us, is that this would be an opportunity for those for for the work on the grant to be discussed if there are any questions that come up um, and then giving you time to finalize it to then go out for July 11th we understand is the deadline don't know if you can hear us but that's that's what our deliberation was <laughs> All right, awesome. Okay, so if I'm going to call for public comment because we do have a member in the audience, um, and so if um, the our attendee would like to make public comment, please raise your hand, and I will bring you into the room. And we've read the instructions many times. I'm not going to read them, <laughs> but it's public comment period. All right, hang on one second. We have Mara here and there we go. I wish you luck next week. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Is that your public comment? <laughs> Yes. Oh, well, thank you. That's a great, that's great. <laughs> All right. Wonderful. Okay. So if there aren't any other questions or comments or future agenda items, I don't have anything that hasn't been anticipated. Um, I'll just give a quick peek one more time to make sure we haven't missed anything. Um, oh, I will say there's a big push for HR 40 right now. So if you're paying attention, um, you will see that leading up into Juneteenth, some of you may have seen that Biden's press secretary a couple weeks ago when asked about um, Biden's thoughts on the California reparations report, if he was still in support of setting up a, a committee, um, she said that he was. Um, and I think that was really important information. Um, and so there is a, a big push, um, Human Rights Watch, many other organizations working together um, to, to continue that fight. So um, I think there's a day, Dr. Shabazz, I think we both had it on our Facebook somewhere, the day, um, the HR 40 day, I'm just pulling it up. See if I can. Where are we here? So it's the day of action. Thank you. Well, the day of action has happened. Oh, the day of action happened already. Okay, look at me. I'm losing track. I was yesterday. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. Oh my gosh, I'm losing track of all of these. But you're right. It's still a continued push, it's and the uh, push. the yeah. New England um, region of the National Coalition of Blacks for Reparation in America will be in Hartford on the uh, 24th, 25th. Uh, Kathleen Anderson and I are carpooling are looking to go down. So, um, so yeah, it's the, the push is still on for the federal legislation. Awesome. All right, thank you for that update. Okay, if there aren't any other, Mara, I see your hand is still up. Um, did you have another comment to make or is that leftover? It's leftover. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so we'll see you all at two o'clock on Friday. Um, yes. And okay, great. I'm adjourning the meeting at- Did we, did we settle all you needed with um, Michelle with regards to the, um, I know we don't have core meeting anyway if we did, but as far as for the, the food support, we already approved that, didn't we? Yeah, I think we approved an unrestricted amount, which I've given Paul a heads up on. I told him it was gonna be the range that we discussed. Yeah. But I do think we need to on Friday formalize that so that I can say so that I can requisition out how to work that out. Yeah, exactly. Okay. 
well, but it just, will be taken care of in terms of like, from my perspective, I will be um, working with Junior to make sure that everything's taken care of. Um, so thank you for, for that was a great meeting last week that was very impromptu over there. And yeah. I think it was helpful for all of us to be able to talk about it and um, see- Visualize, the yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So also, if uh, and if, if you were getting water, I, but the rest of us have talked, and uh, I'll just try to see if I can figure out some things for a table. But I can also bring a table if it if it's um, you know. So it's not I have to put Jennifer into another task in relation to uh, to the Sunday. I can bring a table as well, and and if I have materials, if I'm able to get materials, I'll I'll get materials for the table. Yeah, if you'd be up for that. And if you have some materials that you need just to have printed off, I'm happy to take that administrative piece um, if you just send them to me. Okay. And if I can, I know there are certain places locally as well as online where I can get a banner made. If I can get yeah. something, yeah. I can get, you know, maybe something that says HRA and, um, bam and have like the town i don't know i'll figure I'll something with, out. i'll work with you on that okay perfect <laughs> all right bye everyone thank you so much 308 p.m okay bye-bye bye, -bye. <laughs> bye.